Hey everybody, it's been a while since I've been uh, doing anything. Most of you guys probably know I was in a pretty near fatal accident in uh, September. And a uh, guy ran a red light. Uh, he was just in a hurry. And he totaled my beautiful 2010 Camaro, absolutely wrecked it. And put me in the hospital, so I haven't been doing much on the Dodge, but... Uh, Okay. First, I've been out in the garage, and I'm trying to get myself back in shape and just get out of the depression and get out of the, you know, just sitting around because that's really all I can do right now. But uh, I ended up finding me a little project to work on, and uh, that's this guy right here. Yeah, I found myself a Chevy K10. Uh, short bed step side and uh, it's a project I've been looking for for about five or six years and since I don't have the Camaro anymore I you know looking for something to give me some focus and something to look forward to so um, I thought I, I saw this and I've been looking for one of these because I always wanted one I, I really like John Baker's pickup from chips which is the same truck um, I like the one from Hardcastle and McCormick, but more than anything, I really wanted the truck from Ho the movie Hooper. I wanted Sonny Hooper's stuntman pickup, but uh, that was a GMC Sierra Classic. And so what I'm going to do is uh, kind of GMC this and uh, during the restoration process. But I picked this up on the 28th of February. Uh, actually had it shipped up from Connecticut fella had it down there some very nice people wonderful wonderful people and uh, you know we we got talking and I decided this was the truck uh, I've looked at a lot of junk for a lot of money and this was right and the right price um, so I got a GMC it which shouldn't be too hard emblems um, I've got to change the grill uh, that's this is a three row with the embossed part for the emblem so what I need is the GMC which is the two row and has the embossing for GMC in the center roll bar is going to go away um, the correct directionals I'm going to uh, get the bumper re-chromed or replaced back bumper the same because Sonny Hooper's truck had that nice chrome uh, Sierra Classic bumper but this truck overall is the exact truck. Um, someone put a two inch lift in it. Um, I don't know, you know, I think I'm gonna get it back to stock ride height. So that's what the Hooper truck was. And uh, had the white wagon wheels. Right now it's sitting on 33s. And uh, we're gonna get this back to the stock tire size, the stock wheels. We're gonna get the white wagon wheels because that was on Sonny's truck. But overall, I mean, this truck is a great starting point. It's, I mean, the frame is clean as a whistle. Wheel wells, fenders, there's one little spot here, um, you know, totally fixable. When we redo the trim, we're gonna put the chrome in because that's what the um, CR Classic had. The big mirrors, they're gonna go away and we're gonna put the sport mirrors on. Uh, got to rehab the back window the slider slider works but the uh, cat whiskers in there are rotted away and uh, the aluminum channel trim in the center of the windows is loose so I got to re-glue that and fix that um, beds real clean the extension fenders and the step sides these are all excellent shape really no serious rust anywhere all the rockers are pretty good i got a little spot on this rocker but other than that the inners and outers are excellent gotta align the doors a little i mean it's a 78 it's had it's you know had a had a lifetime worth of stuff that it's been doing so it's gonna need a little tender love and care but with a little bit of work it'll look like that look brand new so that's what we're up to. Um, Post-accident, I have some problems with my arms and legs. Uh, this is a 350 with a four-speed, a granny low and three regular gears. And 
four-wheel drive. I put this thing in four low the other day and put it in granny gear and I let the clutch out and it crawled right up the big hill in the yard. I didn't even touch the gas. It just started going and drove right up with no issues. So, so this bumper is going to go away and we're going to get the nice chrome one. Um, probably replace the tailgate. This one's going to be a piece of wall art. Actually, what I'll end up doing is probably giving this back to the guy I bought it from. He he was saying if I replaced it, he'd like to have it for wall art. And he gave me such a good price on the truck. The least I can do is give him the tailgate back. So a bed needs a little bit of love. They all do. But overall, it's not too bad. A little snowy. It's not bent, twisted, or rusted out. There's, you know, the, the average 78 rust that you'd expect. But uh, the only real... You know serious problem that little bit in the bed there and that's just a you know piece of flat metal so we'll cut that out we'll graft it a new piece weld it a new piece and go from there but i mean even the framework is just beautiful on this truck all the way around i can't believe it i've seen these trucks go for a lot of money and they're absolute junk you know someone's had some cab work there i'm gonna put new corners in and make it right we're going to clean this all up back here i'll get the aluminum piece that goes around for the gmc and we'll you know we'll church it up we're going to church it up that's what we're going to do but i mean overall the interior is real nice door panels are good they need a little cleaning and uh you know we'll get to some details and cleaning it up the dash pad is real nice so i don't know if we're going to have to replace that or not probably not it's got the full gauge package, which is real nice. Tack and everything. For the most part, it's in good shape. No air on this truck. It's got nice vents on the left and right. I remember those from my Firebird. You open those vents and kick that back window open, you're going to have some real airflow through here. It'll be like my old 79 Trans Am. I used to open the... Um, I had a sunroof. So I used to open the sunroof and kick open the Astro ventilation. Remember that? So that would... Uh, we get a lot of air in there and it it was nice i don't know i might put i might put vintage air in they make a kit that goes right in place of the controls there and that kit is really nice and that would give us some ac so you know we got our four lowest stick and our regular stick now i've been having some trouble because of my legs because of the accident this guy running this red light really wrecked my life but uh we're going to overcome that, and uh, I may end up changing out the motor and trans, and if I can get an LS and a you know, overdrive trans, um, that would be great. So all the nomenclature for the VIN and everything is here, so i got to run those numbers and see what I can find for information. Just kind of decode it a little bit. I was hoping to find the build uh, tag in the glove box but it's so old it just rotted away um so there's nothing left of that and uh i'm gonna end up trying to hopefully i'll find a build sheet somewhere else so let's see if we can open this hood up here and i'll show you what we got oh tough with bad arms but yeah firewall is nice nice and solid wheel wells are beautiful i don't know if they were replaced or not but uh, I don't think so. I, well, they probably were. I think I saw a tag on one of them up in the fender well. Yeah. So they're probably new fender wells. Good, that's one less thing I have to do. And there's a tag down on the springs. I think that's got the, you know, this is the two inch lift spring. And there's a blocks, there's blocks at the back. So that's definitely lifted. We'll get it back down to that. The roll bar is going to go away. And like I said, the right bumper put in the right directionals. But overall, this truck is really, really solid. I'm really impressed. And I'm looking forward to working on this thing. We're going to add a couple of creature comforts. And, uh, you know, kind of, I wanted this to be the Sonny Hooper pickup from the movie. And uh, we're, we're maybe going to bring it up update it a little bit like what would Sonny Hooper do if uh if he owned this truck today you know you know what he'd do he'd put in an LS and an overdrive trans and a better gear ratio and cruise the heck out of it that's what he'd do that's what stuntmen do they're always changing things and they're always wrecking things so <laughs> we're not gonna wreck this one 
But uh, yeah, like I say, firewall, a couple little spot, little little tiny spot right there. That's it in the whole firewall. So I'm very pleased with that. I, I think I got a good deal for uh, for what I paid for this truck. And I've already been out bouncing around the neighborhood in it and having a ball. So that's where we're going. And uh, we'll keep you updated on that. We got a couple little projects to do on the black and white. So uh, I don't know how much of this I'm going to be able to do myself. But uh, I got a lot of buddies who have been calling me up and saying, hey, man, you, you know, give me a shout. I'll come over and do whatever we need to do. The kids are all, you know, into working on this. And so I think uh, between everybody, we're, we're going to get this project underway pretty shortly here. And we'll keep you posted, so stay tuned. Uh, one other thing, too, is it's going to be a busy summer for me because um, we're going to start the other YouTube channel coming probably April or May. Uh, we're going to be doing the uh, classics and chrome we're getting back to doing the tv show so we're going to have season one episode one i've got some video in in the uh production right now so we'll see what happens but uh, as soon as that gets going we'll let you know and we'll uh hopefully have some fun in some of the car shows and interview some people that own vehicles around here and just en enjoy the car community it's a huge car community around here so let's uh, do something with it all right until next time, uh, we'll be ordering parts and playing, playing cars. You do the same. <laughs>